Welcome to Mojo at the Movies. I'm Eric. This is Manny. How you doing? I'm doing all right, Eric. So we went to go see Mission Impossible 6, Mission Impossible Fallout. And the big question is, did it go too far? I think it went just far enough. We gotta talk. Need to rethink this. So Mission Impossible 6 Fallout is the perfect example of what a summer blockbuster action movie should be. And why is that? Is because Tom Cruise. So, how is he? Oh, you know. Same old Ethan. Because Tom Cruise, what does that even mean? Tom Cruise, as far as I'm concerned, is the guy that's always high-fiving himself in his own mind when he does his stunts. And of course, this movie is all about the stunts, and they ramp up the stunts so there's that much more high-fiving himself in his own mind. I'm sick of Tom Cruise. You look at him and he's like, I'm Tom Cruise, yes. Ethan, where are you? I'm in a helicopter. Tom Cruise constantly high-fiving himself. I would constantly be high-fiving myself as well if I learned to fly a helicopter in under three months, did a bow roll in a helicopter, and also hung off a helicopter. Have you hung off a helicopter, Eric? I don't think so. Tom Cruise, well-deserved high-five. All right, fair enough. He does all his own stunts, and there were some amazing stunts in this movie. But the problem is, that's what the whole movie is. It's just stunt after stunt after stunt. Where's the story? And if you're gonna go with, oh, well, you know, all the spy movie tropes, they're just removing masks. Aha, it wasn't me. I was really him. Mission Impossible doesn't try to hide itself to be more than just an amazing action thrill ride. So we have action sequence, action sequence, action sequence, pieced together by these really great, fun, memorable characters that are giving us a good performance. It's exactly what it needs to be. I don't think it needs to be anything more. This is probably, excluding Infinity War, the best movie of the summer. Are you shitting me? Are you really calling this the second best blockbuster of the summer? Well, then again, if you think about it, there's not much to compare it to. I mean, Fallen Kingdom, Skyscraper. Okay, you may have me on that one. You're the one who made me come here. I'll be all right. But I have heard comparisons to a certain action movie that I hold very dear, and we're talking about Fury Road. People online are saying that this movie is like Fury Road. Come on, Fury Road is a beautiful piece of art that uses the action to propel the story forward. This movie is a spy movie with a lot of muscle, but... Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Comparing Mission Impossible Fallout to Fury Road is absolutely ridiculous. It's like comparing apples and oranges. Okay, one movie was starring Venom, and this one, well, this one has Superman in it. Manny says he hates people who compare Fury Road with Fallout. I'm gonna try and not take that one personally. But let's talk about Henry Cavill. He's a bag of bones. He's wooden. Sure, he's Superman. He wasn't the best Superman. Besides the this, what else is there there? Watch out, Eric, because Henry Cavill's coming for you. I think he was the absolute perfect opposite to Tom Cruise in this movie. Tom Cruise is really fast. He's trying to do everything really like quick and finesse. And Henry Cavill's just brute force. And I feel like we haven't really got that in a Mission Impossible movie. And that's what makes these movies great. From film to film, the characters and the adventures grow. So these movies are progressively becoming better than actually like the Fast and the Furious movies, which are progressively becoming worse. And The Rock pretty much said, I'm just gonna make my own version of this. You know, you may be right. It's not a terrible movie, it's pretty entertaining, but the big question was, does this movie go too far, especially with the stunts? I think it's right on par with what exactly a summer blockbuster should be. I mean, if your budget's over $100 million, I expect no less than what I saw in Mission Impossible 6. Great performances, great characters, decent villains, and you know what? Amazing stunts. And props to Tom Cruise. I know you're saying he's constantly high-fiving himself. He is high-fiving himself well all the deserved. time. Well-deserved. High-five. Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible 6. Go watch it, eh, right now. Not sure.